Hi, let's solve one previous question of DFS. This question was asked in GATE CS 2021 set 1 question number 41. An articulation point in a connected graph is a vertex such that removing the vertex and its incident edges disconnect the graph into two or more connected component. Let T be a DFS tree obtained by doing DFS in a connected undirected graph G. Which of the following option is or are correct? And four options are given. Before solving this question, let me first draw a connected undirected graph. This is a connected undirected graph. Next, find which vertex is the articulation point whose removal will make graph disconnect. So here D is the articulation point. If we remove D and the incident edges, it will make the graph into Two connected component a b c will be one connected component e f will be another connected component so d is the articulation point whose removal will make graph disconnected it will make two more connected component option a root of t can never be an articulation point in g so let me try to do dfs starting from articulation point means starting from d so from D we can visit B, then from B we can visit A, from A we can visit C. Now this is a dead end, so we need to backtrack. Again from D we will visit E, then from E we will visit F. So option A, root of T can never be an articulation point in G, but here we made a DFS tree starting from articulation point. So option A is false. Next option B, root of T is an articulation point in G if and only if it has two or more children. This is true, D has two children, one is B, another is E. So option B is true. Option C, a leaf of T can be an articulation point in G. Leaf cannot be an articulation point. Articulation point should be at middle. If it will be leaf, then that removal will not make graph disconnect. So leaf of T can never be articulation point. Option C, false. Next, before doing option D, let me create another DFS tree starting from A. From A, we will visit B. From B, we will visit D. Then from D, we will visit E. From E, we will visit F. Now from F, we will do backtrack and from D, we will visit C. So this is a DFS tree starting from A. Next option D, if U is an articulation point in graph such that X is an ancestor of U in T and Y is a descendant of U in T. So this is our articulation point that is U and A, B are X which are ancestor in T, E, F, C are Y which are descendant of U. Then all path from X to Y in G, just mark here in G is given means in the graph must passes through U. So it is saying all the path from A or B to E or F or C must passes through D. Let's take X equals to B and Y equals to C. Now B to C there is a path through A. There is a path through D, there is also a path through A. So all paths are not going through articulation point. That's why it is false. If we we'll consider X equals to A and Y equals to E, obviously it is going through D. If we we'll consider X equal to B and Y equals to F, it's going through D. But if we we'll consider X equals to B and Y equals to C, it's always not going through D. It can also go through A. So all paths from X to Y in G are not passing through articulation point. Option D is false. We found option A is false, option C is false, option D is false. Only option B is correct. So answer will be option B. Root of T is an articulation point in G if and only if it has two or more children. 
I already discussed articulation point, just go through that, you can easily solve this question. And if this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.